Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to go over how I do our monthly meal plans. So as you know, our monthly budget for food, drinks, so is $350. So I have to make sure that I have enough for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks a day for five people in our house for a whole month for under $350. And I usually come in way under 350 plus I build a huge stockpile throughout the year. Um, if you kind of see me squinting a little bit or hear me sniffling, I have this like really bad head cold that has just been going around our area. Um, almost everybody in our family has had it or currently does have it. And I'm like, thought I had missed it. And I was like, oh, awesome, I missed it. And then like, I'm just nose diving right into it. So I apologize for that in advance. Um, so my biggest advice for you when you do this is do it all at one time. Do it at nighttime. So right now it is currently 10.30 at night. The kids are all in bed and I'm sitting in my kitchen and if you can hear my wind chime in the back, it's because it's super windy. We're kind of in the middle of a winter storm. So get yourself a snack. So I got my popcorn. Get yourself a drink. I got a hot tea with honey to try to get rid of this head cold and sit down and tackle it all at once. Um, my other, the things that I think that you would need to get this done is you need some kind of planner. My wonderful mother-in-law actually made me this beautiful planner. I was so excited to get it. It's probably one of my favorite gifts this year. And it just has my name in this, and then she like loaded it up with this. Photography is kind of like my passion. I love um, photography and then some stickers and some pamphlets and stuff that it has all the months and then the very back has contacts budgets there's actually a christmas um a christmas section in there as well because she knows that i like to buy christmas gifts throughout the year and uh we're in the month of february so i'm gonna do february if you turn to february she has put the actual month in there which is really great i love that and then as you turn a page Ooh, I might, I might sneeze. There's the week. So she has like, um, she put in there for me like the breakdown week. And this is just like a list, a to-do list. Excuse me, a list and a to-do list. And then um, goals for this week, which I really appreciate because I've been really trying to um, better myself in the new year. And I kind of want to obviously lose some weight. Um, and do a gratitude, gratuity journal. And just kind of like, better my overall self this year and then um behind that so after so the next page so you turn that page and then she knows that i love to budget and i love to meal plan there's actually this thing where it has um sunday monday tuesday all the way down and then trying to get it to focus sorry it has breakfast lunch snack and dinner and then over here is like a grocery list if I have to get groceries that week and I love it I love it um, I hope she continues to do it every year um, it's just one of my favorite gifts I got this year so I absolutely love it I have been using it religiously I just love it <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're going to go into your calendar and you're gonna look at your month of February and you are going to write down, I have finished already, um, I did it yesterday, but I'm going to do, or I'm going to show, sorry, I'm going to show you January's as an example, and then I'm going to do February's, but you're going to go down and you're going to write Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and so on, and then you're going to number, so there's one, two, three, four Sundays, so one, two, three, four Mondays, and then my biggest thing I would say to do is to theme your days. So every day in our week has a theme and that way it helps me um, with the ideas. So it's a little easier to, I like get steered down the right direction of picking a meal for that day because that day has a theme. So our themes are as such. Sunday is our big family dinner. So Sunday we don't have anything. We try to make sure our Sundays are completely clear 
of anything. So that's a that's the day that we um, usually I make a really big meal early or early for early dinner. We make a big meal. We kind of pick at it. We have a movie night. We kind of break down our whole week. So I say Sundays are big movie our big dinner night. Um, so we'll have like something like roast or a whole chicken um, just something that has lots of sides it's kind of complicated or takes a long time to cook Mondays is our healthy days we just like to start off the week on a good note so we always try to do something healthy low carb on Mondays Tuesdays is obviously taco Tuesday we don't necessarily have tacos every Tuesday but we have some kind of Mexican um, themed meal on Tuesdays Wednesdays is chicken. We have a lot of chicken. Um, it's just, we just like chicken. So we have some kind of chicken every Wednesday, whether it's roast chicken, baked chicken, chicken legs, chicken thighs, um, stuff like that. Thursdays is always our Italian night, so we usually have some kind of pasta. Fridays is pizza. We don't order pizza out, but we do get frozen pizzas. And uh, so we make pizza, so we can either make pizza, Frozen pizzas, we have like um, Texas toast pizza. Sometimes we'll get stuff to make our own homemade pizzas. Saturdays is our favorite day, so somebody picks like their favorite meal. Usually that's the day that I do um, fake out takeouts. So somebody wants Chinese instead of going to Chinese, I'll make it. Um, I'll do like a fake out takeout thing. Or uh, somebody's like favorite meal that really doesn't fit into any other themes, we'll do that on that day. And then uh, my big for breakfast, lunch, and snacks, just write down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and pick a breakfast that you guys going to have every Monday, a breakfast for every Tuesday, a breakfast for every Thursday, and um, a snack, and do the same thing for lunches as well. And that way, you just put the number of days beside that, and you'll know how many of that you will need. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, I feel like I should mention that the clock doesn't work. <laughs> it We've had it for almost five years, and we have never had a problem with it, but here lately it's been draining batteries within a day, so we just kind of leave it. <laughs> so the time has passed, just so you know. All right, so I've done my February list. Get it all figured out what we're going to have for every meal, every breakfast, every snack, and every lunch. After you do that, you just got to write down your meals. Just get your meals done and out of the way. You're going to take a separate sheet of paper. And what you're going to do is, I've already done this too, so I can show you guys the example. You are going to write, you're going to go meal by meal. So... So you're going to go like, we're going to have chili on Sunday. You're going to write down everything you need for chili and you're going to put a tally mark next to it. And then we're going to have chicken and dumplings on another Sunday. And you're going to go through and if you're going to have potatoes, you're just going to put a line through it. A line, a tally, a tally. And then if there's something that's not listed yet, you're going to write down a tally next to it. And you're going to do that for all your meals, including your breakfast, lunch, and snack. Write everything down that you need. Um, and this is where a lot of people would go into their pantry or into their fridge or into their freezer and see what they do have already and take it off their list. I do not do that. What I do is I just buy everything that I need, whether we have it or not, and that helps build the stockpile. Now, I do rotate. So, like, if we already have hamburger left over from last month, I would take the old hamburger, put it to the side, put the new hamburger in, and then put the old one on top. So I do rotate, like, first in, first, in, first out. Um, so I do do that. So nothing ever goes bad. And then um, next month, the month of March, I'm actually going to challenge myself and do a pantry purge. You know, we have our pantries really full. Um, I usually do one in December, which you guys should have seen that video already. But it really didn't um, just deplenish our pantry that much as I was hoping it would. So um, I think I'm going to do another one in March and not buy any groceries at all and then save that grocery budget. And then April, I'm going to try and budget a entire four months into $600. So I'm going to see if I can get that challenge done and get a whole four months worth of food in $600 or less. So look out for that. So um, after you have your itemized list, 
Now you're going to take it and on the back of, so you'll need two pieces of paper for this, plain notebook, whatever you need, of your list, this is one from last month, on the back of your um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday menu list, you are going to take this list and start a new list and you're going to look at this list and now you're going to do everything by categories. So you're going to have meats, um, canned and box goods, dairy, veggies, fresh frozen fruit, um, fresh breakfast, lunch, snack, and other. And you're going to go through that and that's when you're going to mark everything down. And then after you get that done, so I'm going to get that done and then I'll, I'll come back and tell you what to do next. So after you have gotten your categorized stuff done, you're going to get on your phone and I can't show you because I actually am recording my phone today. You're going to get on your phone and you're going to get in your apps. The only stores that I shop out on every, like, regular months is Walmart and Sam's Club. Now, if I'm doing a four-month supply or a really large haul, I'll go to Kroger because Kroger has some really good deals. But Kroger is just a little too far out of our way to do it every month. Um, and actually, Sam's Club is probably about 30 minutes, too. We just live in the middle of nowhere, and that is one of the big reasons that I actually shop once a month instead of shopping every week because it's just a really big inconvenience to have to drive 30 minutes once a week to get food when I'm a stay home mom and I really don't need to do that. So after you get your itemized, your um, categorized list done, add them to your apps and stuff and as long as you didn't go too overboard you should be under your budget of a, like a realistic budget. If you kind of want to know what your budget should be, you could definitely comment down below and I can give you a ideal budget, budget of what I would budget for a family your size in your area. Um, and then if you are over budget, you should just kind of refigure. Um, maybe you're spending too much on meats. Um, kind of maybe do like a ground pork or a less lean meat or something like that. Um, take away a more expensive snack and substitute it for a fresher um, healthier, less expensive snack, uh, or look and see if you can do a leftover days. Sometimes we have leftover days instead of having dinners because we have lots of leftovers when I cook. Um, that's what I do to meal plan, and then I will go, I will take this, I will fold it, take a paper clip, and clip it to the month of the calendar, and then I will go to the weekly oh, sorry. my weekly um, meal plan which I actually have done so it's plain and I will write down from my list from my list things that I'm going to put so I'll look at we'll have Sunday so I'll look at a Sunday and I'll take a Sunday that I want to cook that week and mark it off the reason I don't do this like the whole month at one time is because my mind changes. Sometimes I'm really good mood and I really want to cook a lot of uh, meals that day and I, sometimes I just don't. Sometimes it's just easier to throw something in the crock pot and go. Um, sometimes I want to do a freezer meal. We have three kids that are in sports and in school and doctor's appointments and um, Mike works a sling shift, which if you don't know what that is, it means he works. Um, sometimes like he'll go three days so he works 12 hour shifts so he'll go three days and then he's off a couple and then he'll work three nights and then he's off a couple like work three days off a couple work nights off a couple so we don't have a consistent work schedule for him and we try to make sure that we have family dinner almost every night at the table so sometimes it's just if I know that we won't have a lot of leftovers of something I'll make sure to have that on a day he's off and not a day that he has to take leftovers for lunch um, and he always takes leftovers for lunch. That's what his lunches are. I don't pack him um, individual lunches. I do pack him individual snacks, but lunches are always leftover dinner because it's just easy, convenient, and it's cheap for our family, and he likes leftovers. So if you want to know what I had um, planned for this month, uh, I will go through that now. If not, I completely understand. Thank you for listening, and I hope you hit the subscribe and like button. So... If you stay to stay here and will listen, we are gonna have for there's four Sundays in um, this month, and I shop from the tenth to the tenth. I don't do the first to the first. It just so happens that when I started budgeting, 
it was on the 10th and I have never stopped from the 10th. Um, it's been four years now <laughs> since I've been shopping on the 10th. It just happened to be the day that I decided that I was tired of being broke and started budgeting. So that's just the day we shop. It's really convenient for us because the 10th seems like it's a good day to let the grocery stores kind of restock their shelves from the first of the month when most people do a lot of their grocery shopping so there's not lots that are out of and it's not too late in the month to where um, things are just coming out of stock again. So the middle of the month just kind of fits for us and it just kind of fits our schedule as well. So I shop on the 10th. So there's four Sundays we're gonna have chili chicken and dumplings, roast, and um, a whole chicken. And if you guys want to see recipes for this, just let me know. And I can kind of, I might do like a video where I do a cook with me and show you guys all the all the things I make in the month, just in one large video. Um, where there's four Mondays this month too, and we're having grilled chicken, um, barbecue chicken legs, stroganoff, and fish and steak. I don't eat fish and Mike doesn't eat steak, so <laughs> we have fish to say. Tuesdays, we are having, there's four Tuesdays, and two of those Tuesdays we're having nachos and two we're having burritos. Wednesdays, there's also four Wednesdays, and we're having roasted chicken fries, or roasted chicken thighs, sorry. Baked chicken, um, chicken and rice, and some other kind of chicken. I just wrote chicken down, so I knew to get um, enough chicken breast for those meals. I haven't decided what kind of chicken we're going to have. We might have kind of, that's just one of those things where I fly by the seat of my pants with that. <laughs> Thursdays, there's also four Thursdays, and what we're going to have is juice spaghetti. Uh, it's my grandma's famous juice spaghetti recipe that I have actually tweaked um, as I got older, and uh, when me and Mike first got together, he had never heard of juice spaghetti, and now it's his favorite, one of his favorite meals, like he requests it every month. So we're having juice spaghetti, regular spaghetti, um, chicken alfredo, and stuffed shells or lasagna. All depends on what um, noodles are cheaper. Friday is always pizza day. So there's four Fridays and we're having um, pizza all those days. So I will buy uh, eight pizzas. We just do two frozen pizzas uh, every Friday. Two seems to fit our family just fine. Saturday is, also, is there's four Saturdays and that's like our favorite meals day. So we're going to have um, fake out, take out Chinese. Mike is going to make his shepherd's pie. Uh, we're having mac and cheese and chili mac. And our Saturdays is usually the request days. So I tell the kids, I ask the kids and I ask Mike to, re um, to request like three to f um, four meals a month each. And I tell them that they probably won't get all those meals if they're all different, but I will try my best. And most of the time I can get all of them in there. But sometimes I'll just like write it down for an idea for next month. So breakfast every Monday we're going to have muffins. And we just, um, those two for a dollar muffin mixes that you just add water or milk to. I make those and I freeze them and I actually add um, pureed baby food to them. And it doesn't change the taste. It just makes sure they get an extra boost of vegetables in the morning. They can't tell. They don't even know I do that. So please don't tell my children if you see them out and about. Because I want them to be oblivious to the fact that they're eating vegetables for breakfast. So I just make those. Those are really good. Tuesdays we're going to have mini bagel sandwiches that I also make that are in the freezer. Wednesday we're going to have toast. And I heard um, somebody once said that you just give your kids toast for breakfast. Yes. <laughs> They will toast at least two pieces of toast um, a piece. They will put peanut butter on it. Um, sometimes they'll put bananas or apples on it. And um, sometimes they'll put sugar. So they like make the toast their own. Thursday, we will have waffles or pancakes or French toast. So like a syrupy, kind of chunky, just to get us through the week. Um, Friday is breakfast burritos, and I freeze those breakfast burritos, and those are really good too. Saturday is we're going to have eggs, so some kind of like scrambled eggs and toast, something like that. Um, and Sunday we always have omelets. That's our big sit down at breakfast. So um, Sundays and Saturdays are the only days that we really sit down together at breakfast because everybody gets up at different times. Um, everybody gets off to school or off to work at different times. So Sunday we try to make sure we have a large breakfast together. For lunches, Mondays, every Monday is leftover day. Um, every Tuesday is ramen noodles. Wednesdays is um, mac and cheese. 
Um, Thursday is ravioli. I either make my own ravioli or I buy can ravioli and each kid gets a half of a can of ravioli or spaghetti meatballs because they're really high in sodium and so I don't like them to have a lot of salt. Um, Friday is sandwiches, so like uh, lunch meat sandwiches or egg sandwiches or if we have a lot of tortillas left over we'll have roll-ups. Um, Saturday is always pe peanut butter and jelly and I freeze our peanut butter and jelly so that's since it's Saturday the kids are pretty self-sufficient on Saturday for lunches. Um, it's kind of like a pick and graze day. And then Sunday is chicken noodle soup. For snacks on Monday, um, we have two snacks a day. Well, me and the gents and us. When the kids are in school, they only have one snack a day, an after school snack. And I usually try to make that like a bigger snack, uh, which I have a whole after school snack series on my Instagram. If you want to go and follow that, it's just Adriana and then Kay on Instagram. Um, but Jensen has two snacks a day because he is not in school yet, but when he goes to preschool, he'll still have two snacks a day. He'll want to have one at preschool and then one when he gets home. So I um, do his snacks on my menu. I did not do the kids' snacks because that's kind of like a whatever I can throw together with stuff that we have at home. So his snacks, every Monday he has fruit, and um, the kids will have fruit with their lunches or with their um, breakfast and stuff, so I buy a lot of fruit. Tuesday is out of the white bin. So our white bin is our healthy bin. It has goldfish, um, crackers, pretzels, stuff like that. Um, Thursday, or Wednesday, it's at the pink bin if he is good. If not, it's substituted for a veg a raw vegetable. And our pink bin is kind of our junky stuff. So it has like the Pop-Tart bites and um, fruit snacks and granola bars and televites and stuff like that. Uh, Thursday is dry cereal. We would never have cereal as breakfast. Um, if you do that, that's, and it works for your family, that's great. We tried to do it for years and the kids would just complain like three, like two hours later that their stomach hurt because they were hungry again and it's just as easy to throw something in the microwave for us as it is to um, cook breakfast and make cereal so we just decided as a family that we would no longer have cereal as breakfast um, it is a snack so you can either have it dry or you can have it with milk it don't really matter to us at all just you're not having it as a meal Friday is um, string cheese and raw vegetables Saturday is yogurt and Sunday is usually I make a big um, snack for everybody to graze on so I'll cut up like a veggie tray or fruit tray or I'll make a cheese dip, or I'll make like a layer dip, or I'll make a big pan of nachos for um, a snack, and everybody's kind of graces on it all day because we try to spend a lot of time as a family on Sundays. So I try to make a large snack for everybody to eat together on Sundays. So that is it. That's what we have um, the whole month of February, and we do it for under $350 a month, and there's five of us. So. If I could do it, I promise that you can do it. I used to, we used to spend $600, $700 on groceries alone a month. And it was just digging us into the ground. It was putting us in debt. Um, and feeding your children should not put you in debt. It just shouldn't. It just shouldn't. <laughs> and, uh, I hope that this video kind of helps you and if you have any questions or need me to like hold your hand and walk you through it I will gladly do that because I want to save everybody as much money as possible and I want everybody to try and live frugal and just plan their meals out so that they don't go into debt and it makes my heart hurt more than anything to see kids go hungry and if I can help you budget your food and your budget so that your kids don't go hungry because you just ran out of money, I want to do that. I never want to hear or see about anybody going hungry because they couldn't afford to feed their kids. I just, I just, it breaks my heart. So if you have any questions or any suggestions on big food ideas or um, menu plans or like that, Please leave in the comments because my way is not the only way and your way might help somebody else. So 
Um, I hope you like this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit that subscribe button and that like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye!